When it comes to modifying your Mustang, a lot of owners overlook the interior, especially the seat. Now, it's something that never made sense to me, because when you, anytime you're behind the wheel of your car, you're gonna be in the seats. And as you add horsepower, add better brakes, add better suspension, well, the factory seats are gonna show a lot of weaknesses. Normally, your factory seat, with a few exceptions, are gonna be more about comfort and not about performance. So as the car performs better, the seat just doesn't get it done. So today, we're gonna upgrade the seats in this 1990 Mustang with a brand new set from Corbo. We're going to be going with the Corbo RRS seats. Now, the RRSs are available in black leather. They're available in black vinyl with black carbon. They're available in black vinyl with black diamond stitching, black vinyl with white diamond stitching, and the one we're going with, the white vinyl with the black stitching and the black carbon bags. Now, these are sold as a pair, and they're going to fit pretty much any 65 through 21 Mustang using the proper brackets. They'll also work in classic Broncos, Ford Focus, and Ford Fiesta. They feature a tubular steel frame. They're fully reclinable. And as you can see, the bolsters are much larger and much more supportive than a factory seat. These will fit up to a 38 inch waist and again are sold as a pair. And with some product brackets, we direct replacement for the factory seats. Now this is the bracket that will allow our Corvo RRS to fit into our Fox Body Mustang. This particular bracket is basically gonna fit your 79 through 98 Mustang, but Corvo offers brackets through CJs to fit any year Mustang, again, along with the Focus, the Fiesta, or the Bronco. Installation is four volts, very easy to do. So first thing you do is grab your new seat, flip it on its back, and remove these four bolts. Now, because of the seat, there's different mounting holes in these brackets. First thing you do is measure the center to center of the holes in our seat. You're right at 13 inches. And then we're gonna use the back hole and measure. So what we're gonna use for our seats are these rear holes and these front slots. And what you wanna do is expose the holes so the bolts can go in. So basically just slide it like that so these rear holes are exposed. Rack it up into place. Before we install the bolts, just put a little dab of blue Loctite on each one of them. Definitely don't want your seat bolts coming loose. Line up the bolts with the original holes and just get them started. And don't tighten them all the way. Just get them snug enough that this will slide over the bolt. Now slide the bracket down so we can see our top bolt locations. Okay, now you can tighten down all four bolts. All right, now you repeat the process with the other seat. So at one point in time, our 90 convertible had a set of SN95 seats installed. These were recovered to match interior a long time ago. There's literally no bolstering in them at all. They're just not very supportive. Let's get these seats out of the way and install our new Corbos. So we're going to start in the front. Again, there's studs in the front with two 15 millimeter nuts, one here, one on the other side. Now you want to lean the seat forward and then slide it forward to access the rears. And here you can see the two rear bolts. Now I will mention if you have subframe connectors on your car, these bolts may have nuts on the bottom. So if you turn and they're not moving, there's probably nuts with the subframe connectors, just reach underneath and take them off. All right, so now you want to lift it off the front studs. In our case, it's a power seat, so reach underneath and disconnect. And remove the seat from the vehicle. All right, we're going to put our new seat in the car. Lock in place and then line up the front. Now what you want to do is put the nuts on the front just loosely because they are slotted and then move the seat to line up the rears. Once you have them lined up, you're gonna reinstall the original bolts.
Then slide the seat back and tighten up the front. Once the seat's tight, you want to repeat the process on the other side and your installation's finished. Our Corvo seats look great in our Mustang and they're a lot more supportive. Now they're a lot whiter than the interior, but they still look pretty good in here. But again, the performance difference is huge. I'm now sitting in the seat and not on it. I've got bolsters here, bolsters here. Again, it's nice and comfortable, but very supportive. As far as insulation goes, these are pretty straightforward. Give yourself an hour or two, you'll be back on the road in no time.